Hey friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be going through this giant basket of makeup, beauty, hair care, all sorts of fun empty products I got going. I'm just going to go through all these products and tell you kind of what my thoughts on them were, if I think I'm going to repurchase them in the future, if I thought they were worth it, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I do have an itemized list. I went through all the products in my basket and I calculated out the worth of all of them. Keep in mind, this stuff came from all over the place. Some of it I got in PR. Some of it was from my wholesale beauty supply store where I get my hair products for work. Uh, some of them I've had forever and some of them are just gifts. I do not spend as much as this is worth, but when I totaled up the worth of all of it, it came out to $439 retail value of used up products. And I think that is pretty dang good. I don't really watch a ton of empties videos, but I thought I would just make one just for fun. I don't know, it seems like a good idea. Also, if anybody knows where you can recycle like just empty beauty products, I know there's always back to Mac for the Mac products, but I'm thinking about some of these other ones. So if anyone knows anywhere I can donate or recycle empties, I would love to know, let me know in the comments. Let's go ahead and start off with my hair products. So the first thing I have is the Joyco Hydra Splash Shampoo. If you didn't already know, I am a hairstylist by day and I'm constantly trying out new stuff. Every time I go to Cosmoprof or Salon Centric, I'm always picking up new items to try. And this is just my most recent shampoo purchase. I really like the Color K-Pack, I think is what it's called, the Color Safe Shampoo. So I thought I would try the hydrating one since Utah is very, very dry. And overall, I did like it. I don't think I liked it enough that I'm gonna go out and purchase another one right away. There are a couple other shampoos I'm interested in trying, but I am glad I used it. I do think Joyco makes amazing hair products. Up next, I have an Olaplex number eight. This is the Bond Intense Moisture Mask. I actually use this instead of conditioner. I know that there is a lot of controversy using Olaplex daily and while I would agree it's probably not a good idea to use the shampoo and conditioner daily I used this almost exclusively as my conditioner I only wash my hair once every 10 days or so so I feel like I don't really damage my hair by using this I mean I'm only washing my hair like three times a month and I really like how this makes my hair feel it definitely helps with the hydration I am wearing my natural waves today no product anything in my hair and I feel like it just makes it look really shiny I have another one of these in my shower that I use so this one I'm definitely going to continue to repurchase I love this stuff this one has BB written on it and my name because I stole it out of my back bar cart at work because I was out and didn't want to go buy a new one so I just took my one from work and replaced it but overall I really like this one I highly recommend anybody with dry hair especially anybody with like dry blonde hair like if you get highlights this is a great product to invest in and the last hair product I have is this Dove Care Between Washes Volume and Fullness Dry Shampoo I was actually gifted this by a family member and I really liked the smell of it I don't think I like it enough to go out and purchase it again I feel like it was pretty cheap on my list it says this is eight dollars I I really like the Amika dry shampoo. That is always my favorite, but I did use this one up. I'm not going to say no to free dry shampoo. It's literally the best thing. And I loved the scent of this. I thought the scent of this was beautiful. Next, let's go ahead and talk about some skincare. So first I have the Garnier Marcelli, Marcelli, the micellar water. This is the water rose micellar water. I use this as makeup remover. I use the original makeup eraser brand, I believe is what their full title is their makeup pads, like the reusable makeup wipes or makeup pads. And I'll get them wet with some water and then sprinkle a little bit of this. So it really does last me a long time. I am on a new bottle of this. I tried a different scent this time, but I really like how this takes my makeup off. I feel like it's just always very consistent. It's very gentle. I don't have to scrub super hard. The only time that it's a little inconvenient is if I'm trying to get lash glue like right off of my natural lashes. But as a whole, I feel like this is a super affordable option. I realized I haven't been saying the prices of things. Do you guys care about the prices? So when I do this again in the future, I can let you know. This costs about $9 and it's 13 and a half ounces. So $9 and it lasts you a good solid few months. I would say it's definitely worth it. I really like this stuff. If I find another one that works just as good, I'll let you know. But for now, I'm just going to continue using this brand. I feel like they're super easy, super accessible. You can find them at Target, all the good things. I have an empty first aid beauty. This is the face cleanser. It is good for sensitive skin. In. I love this stuff. This is actually the second tube I finished of this. I go through this stuff so much 
and I do plan on repurchasing this again in the future. However, I am trying to finish up a cleanser that I got in PR, so I want to use that up before I buy a new one. I'm trying not to buy things if I absolutely don't have to. So I'm trying to finish up some of my PR skincare first, and then I'm going to go ahead and purchase another one of these. My skin is super sensitive and super dry, and I feel like things just irritate my skin a ton. So this is just the best cleanser I found. I don't get any breakouts with it. It cleanses my face really nice. And um, it even says on there, remove surface oils, makeup, dirt, and impurities. So normally I'll remove my makeup with the micellar water, kind of give it a good rinse, and then go in with the cleanser. And I feel like that's a really good combo for my skin. And I don't feel like there's any residual makeup left on my face. I do wear a full face nearly every single day. So it's really nice to make sure my skin is nice and squeaky clean. Another empty skincare product I have is my Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen. This is my favorite product ever skincare wise. I do have another one that I'm currently working on. I actually picked up a backup of this during the VIB sale at Sephora. This is just an unseen sunscreen. It's literally what it says. It's a translucent sunscreen, SPF 40. Mine has the writing all rubbed off on it. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I feel like it's a great primer alternative if you don't want to use primer on your face. It's that perfect amount of sticky where it'll soak up into the skin and it doesn't feel sticky to the touch, but it also clings to foundation. So your foundation will stick to your face really nice if you use this as a base. Of course, I'm going to continue to purchase this. I also purchased their powder sunscreen that I want to try. I'm having issues with the packaging of that one, but I will definitely let you know when I finish it what I thought. The last two skincare items I did receive in PR last summer. So the first one is the Purito Foam Green Deep Foaming Cleanser. I actually really liked this. I mean, I only had a small travel size, but I really enjoyed this and I definitely think I would consider picking this up in the future. I've actually considered getting a full size of this one as an alternative to the First Aid Beauty because I did really like how my skin looked when I was using this and I'd be curious to try a full tube and see how it goes. Overall, it was a really good product. And the other thing I got in PR that I finished is the Wellage, Wellage, I still don't know how to say that the Real Hyaluronic Blue Toning Pads. I really liked these. They were just pre-soaked toner pads. They actually came with like little plastic tweezers that I just have in the bottle because why not? I'm actually thinking about keeping those actually because I feel like that would be good to have. Just a random pair of plastic tweezers. I kind of feel like toner is just toner. I know that there's different toners for different things. I felt like these were very hydrating though. Right now I'm currently going through the Ordinary Toner and I do prefer these to the Ordinary Toner. So I would consider picking these up again in the future as well. I have not two, not three, but I guess you could call it three and a half empty MAC Fix Pluses. I'm saving these for my Back to MAC, which I have to do. They're discontinuing their Get a Free Lipstick or Eyeshadow when you return your empty MAC things. So I am trying to save them all so I can go take them before they end that. But I have two full size of the regular scent one mini of the regular scent and then one full size of the lavender. I really liked the lavender scent. I mean, I like the original scent as well. I currently have another MAC Fix Plus spray that is in the cherry blossom scent. I'm not a huge fan of that one. I do think I will end up getting either the lavender or the original again when I finish up my cherry blossom one. I'm trying not to bring in unnecessary makeup into my collection at the moment with all my panning projects, but I would say this is a pretty decent amount of empty MAC Fix Plus sprays. There are very few products in this world that I absolutely love enough to continuously buy them, and I've been buying Fix Plus for years. The other product I buy religiously is my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I actually really like the vitamin C version that they came out with, so I have a vitamin C one right now. I love the All Nighter. It is definitely a little bit pricey, so I am trying to find cheaper alternatives that I still like, but this is always a fave. And while we're on the topic of setting sprays, I also have two empty Morphe ones. I go through setting spray like it's water, and I know I had other empties. It was this whole thing. I started saving some for a video. A lot of the stuff that I was using up was setting sprays or brow pencils, which you will see. Decided I wasn't going to film that video, didn't throw away the empties, decided I wanted to film that video after all, and then started accumulating more empties still. So a lot of these empties are from as far back as last fall, so fall of 2022. 
but two empty Morphe setting sprays. I do really like the Morphe setting spray. However, there is a lot of sketchy stuff going down with that brand at the moment. So I don't see myself purchasing a new one anytime soon. I do have one more that I'm working through, but I also have a couple other setting sprays I'm trying to finish up. And the last thing for setting spray, I have the NYX matte finish setting spray. This one I'm pretty sure I finished like beginning of 2022 and I don't know why I didn't throw it out. The next product is a travel size of the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter True Matte Primer. I did finish this up in my shop my stash there is a little tiny bit on the sides but I can't like unscrew it to get to it so I'm just gonna call it done because there's no way I'm gonna be able to get that out this is a very heavy duty glass bottle I really like this and I do have a full size of the hydrating pro filter primer I was not a huge fan of the matte one in particular because it was very drying and my skin is already fairly dry but I found the best way to use this was literally just on my nose or my forehead or places that I felt were more prone to oils. I have two more skincare items I completely forgot about. So the first one is a travel size of the 4th Ray Beauty Good Mood Moisturizer. I was a bit indifferent on this. Right now I'm using the Peter Thomas Roth Cloud Cream and that's one I've repurchased again for years. This one I got, I believe, with like a Valentine's Day collection last year when I purchased the Valentine's Day collection. It came in some collection and I decided to use it up. I don't think I would go out of my way to repurchase it again, but if I got it in another set or like in a mystery box, like I wouldn't be mad. It wasn't bad. It's just not one I think I would purchase on my own again. And the other fourth ray beauty product I have is the Soak It Up Mask. This was from the ColourPop and Avatar Last Airbender collection. So it has the Water Tribe or Water Nation. Uh, logo on the top and then this was just a really nice hydrating mask. I really liked this. This one I actually would consider picking up again. If they had a sale or if I placed another ColourPop order lately, I haven't really been purchasing from ColourPop. I feel like their shipping is just always very inconsistent and it drives me crazy. So I try and purchase from Ulta if whatever I'm wanting is at Ulta, but I really enjoyed this. I loved the scent. I believe you just leave it on for like 15 minutes, but I kid you not, I would like put this on and like sit down, read a book, like put my feet up, like hang out for an hour and then wipe it off, rinse it off. And I loved how it made my skin feel. I just felt like it moisturized my skin so much. And of course the packaging is so cute. I do have three brow pencils. Brow pencils is another one I go through very quickly. I have the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. I actually quite liked this one. It was a little bit more warm toned than I would prefer. I also have the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Mocha. I don't actually remember liking this color a ton. I feel like I wasn't a huge fan. And then I have the Chella Shella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Color Pencil. This I got in like a boxy charm a couple years ago, I think. I wasn't mad about it. I thought the color was really nice. I felt like it was a nice in between because I'm naturally a brunette. I got my highlights done recently, so you can't really tell. Because I'm naturally more brunette, I feel like this was a nice in between. It wasn't blonde, but it wasn't brunette. So it was kind of an in between color and it really matched my highlights really well. So three empty brow pencils down. I have one empty eyeliner. This is the MAC Brush Stroke Eyeliner Pen in Brush Black. I love this. This is my holy grail eyeliner. It is my favorite eyeliner pen ever. I've tried literally every eyeliner pen. I've tried like the KVD Tattoo Liner. I've tried Fenty Fly Liner. I've tried all the different eyeliners on the market and this is the one I always go back to. I do have this one currently in both the black and brown colors. It is a product that as soon as I finish it, I go out and repurchase it because I know I'm gonna love it. And I just have not found an eyeliner that I like as much as I like this one. It is literally my holy grail. And the last empty I have to share is probably the one I'm most excited about. I did mention this in my pan those eyeshadows, but I finished a shade out of my Too Faced Gingerbread Spice palette. And the shade I finished is Powdered Sugar, which was a kind of like matte off-white shade. It's just a very easy to use matte shade. I used it to set my eye primer or clean up my eyeshadow looks if I felt like they were a little too smoked out. But I finished my very first ever eyeshadow and I am so proud of it. So I had to include it in this empties video. I actually thought about filming this at the beginning of January, but I wanted to wait until I finished this so I could have an empty eyeshadow pan to share. That is all for today's video, my friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I've used up. I know it's like always fun being nosy and seeing 
what's in everybody else's routines. I do plan on doing this again in the future. I am going to make this a permanent routine of saving my empties and sharing them with you guys. So when I have a substantial amount again, I will definitely be letting you know. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed so you never miss out any of my uploads. I am currently doing a few panning projects where I am using up my makeup collection. So I think if you liked this video, you would really like that series. I will link all those playlists in the description below. But for now, I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye friends.